It's been almost eight months since Hasbin Hotel's finale aired on Amazon Prime, but it is still the most in-demand local TV show in the US. Which is actually insane for an indie animation, but I'm getting off track here. With the success of Hasbin Season 1, Prime have gone ahead and renewed the show for a second, third, and even a fourth season. So here's everything we know about Season 2 of Hasbin Hotel. The amount of episodes. We do know that we're once again only getting eight episodes. However, we have been told we're getting way more songs, implying that the episode lengths may be half an hour to 40 minutes instead of the 20 minute run we got in the first season. This means we can explore more of the story in even more detail, which is great for everyone that is invested in the lore. Returning characters. We are safe to assume pretty much every recurring character from season 1 that didn't die will be appearing in season 2. We know this as a few of the characters were shown in the sneak peek clip from San Diego Comic Con, and others have been referenced by Vivsy Pop in passing. We also know that Serpentius will be returning, with Alex Brightman continuing to provide his vocal talent for the now redeemed Snake. There will be a slight focus on Pentius and Heaven compared to last season, meaning we may also get to see some new characters that are known to the fans, such as Angel Dust's twin sister Molly. We did see a character that appeared to be her during the Welcome to Heaven sequence, but it would be awesome to get to know her better. Another fan favourite from Vivzy Pop's existing pool of characters is Baxter, who we have seen in the previously mentioned sneak peek. I personally believe he's going to be a villain, but if you want to know more about my opinions on him, go check out the linked video here. The antagonists of the season. So with Adam dead and the Exorcist cooled off, a new spot has emerged in the show for a major villain. And according to Vivzy Pop, this is going to be filled with Vox. And as a fan of the Vs, I am so excited for this. This ties in nicely with the deal that Vaggy and Alistair made at the start of season 1, where Vaggy promised Alistair that he wouldn't have to get involved with television technology again. This along with the already known rivalry between Alistair and Vox will certainly make for some entertaining drama. Backstories. We also know that we will be finding even more out about the hotel residents in the upcoming season. For starters, we will be learning about Alistair and why he is in hell, and hopefully more about who owns his soul. Vivsy Pop has also hinted at us getting Serpentius' backstory too, more of Charlie's demon form. In the finale episode, we saw Charlie in her full angelic form, something that is possible due to her being a Nephilim, a child born of a Seraphim and a human. However, it appears to have only been brought on by strong emotion and the need to protect her people. As Charlie has succeeded in defending hell against the Exorcist, it is likely she'll be even more confident in her abilities in the next season. 